Hey you guys, welcome to my channel or welcome back if you are new. My name is Emily and in today's video, I want to answer some questions that I've come up with. Um, I have some really cool interviews coming up for the channel and I just want to answer the questions that I've come up with for that, for those um, videos just um, for y'all's curiosity so y'all could have kind of my perspective on some of these questions. Um, so the first question on my list is what is your eye condition? Um, my eye condition is called coloboma, which is where there's um, holes in the middles of my retinas, which led to um, my retinal detachment at the age of five. And this retinal detachment left me totally blind. That is the short form um, answer. And then question number two, how much vision do you have? I am currently totally blind. I did have per some peripheral as a child, but lost this all by the age of five. What is your job? Um, I was a student for a while, but I've decided to take kind of a gap semester just to kind of figure life out. So I guess my job would be full-time YouTuber. Does that count? Um, full-time YouTuber slash trying to figure life out. That is the most honest answer I can give. Um, question number four. What do you like to do in your free time? I like to watch YouTube. Um, what, ask anyone I know. I spend a little too much time on YouTube. I love YouTube. Um, I like watching Netflix. That is probably one of my very soon coming videos. Is what shows... Um, ranking my favorite shows on Netflix so um, watch out for that um, and then question number five is um, what was I trying to say is our um, oh, I see I see okay um, do you know Braille yes I know Braille if you watched my video yesterday then you know the answer and then do you use braille i use braille constantly um this is my braille um i don't know if y'all can see this my braille questions um i use braille all the time especially for youtube and other things um but especially youtube um how do you um I need to fix this. Okay. Um, how would you rate your travel skills? I would rate my, if you use a cane. Um, and I am a full-time cane user. I am going to make a video very soon talking about um, my kind of journey with cane travel and that kind of thing. Um, and I guess I would say I'm kind of... Um, intermediate with um cane travel i'm not the best but i'm not the worst there's always things that um you know you can improve on as a cane travel, in my opinion so i would say i am kind of um intermediate would be um my answer and then also i put as part of this question, um, or number seven on this list actually, is what access did you have to um, braille or um, cane travel training in high school, um, middle school, and lower, lower grades? And what do you think um, that training kind of taught you um i had a, i always had a braille teacher from i the time i was little until i graduated high school but i would say i had excellent um cane travel teachers um from the time i was about five until 
ninth or 10th grade, then I'm not going to go into detail, but some things kind of dropped off. Um, and then I didn't have any O&M at all my senior year of high school. And that definitely just taught me find learn your teach your learning style early, and don't um, be afraid to um, ask for it, and definitely learn like when just to say whatever I'm getting out of here kind of thing. Since I didn't have any O and M my senior year, um, I kind of decided it wasn't worth. Um, pursuing the state and arguing with them and trying to get an O&M teacher because I was leaving at the end of that school year. I felt like it wasn't worth um, the arguing and I felt like it was time for the younger kids to kind of, for their parents to kind of step up if it's what they felt like their kids needed because we fought for things from the time I was in pre-K until I um, graduated high school. So I was kind of over it at that point because I knew I was going to a training center um, after I finished high school. So I wasn't that worried about it, honestly. I just wanted to get out. High school was interesting. Um, and then number, my next question is, what training did you um, get after high school, like training centers or college and what um or how did these things um shape you um definitely um tr my time at the training center I spent off and on about a year and a half at the training center between the two different programs I did and that definitely shaped me into an extremely independent person um taught me how to advocate and ask for things and how to definitely just travel and be in space and how to be a more confident person because I don't think I would ever be a YouTuber or anything of that sort if it wasn't for my experience at the training center because they just helped me realize what I could do and how to be a more outspoken um person and as of right now I have done about a year and a half um of college um two semesters full-time and one semester taking one class um because my time at the training center and the one time at one semester of college kind of overlapped um and definitely college has also taught me to just not be afraid to talk to a professor if you need something. I've met some of the sweetest people when, um, at my time at university if I was just willing to um, speak up and ask for what I needed. I learned very quickly if I was willing to speak up, nine times out of 10 I'd get what I needed. Um, so definitely that has what has shaped me the most is just how to ask for what I need when I need it. and not be afraid to do so um question number 10 what stamp do you want to leave on the world um i want to leave a stamp and show people um show the world that blindness is not a death sen death sentence that um just because you're blind that doesn't mean that you can't be successful and um successful looks different to every person that could mean building a social media presence like i'm trying to do um that could mean getting your master's program your master's degree um in something and pursuing that route you know that could mean working at apple or you know so i want to work in the technology space and i'm trying to figure out what that looks like you know, whatever that looks like for you, don't be afraid to go and get it because you never know. It might just work out and always have a backup plan. I just want to show the world that blindness is not a death sentence and that we can go, you know, achieve our dreams. I know blind people who have gotten their master's degrees. I know blind people who 
are killing it in YouTube. I know blind people who are doing all sorts of things. So that's what I want to show the world. And the last question, or the last two questions um, on here kind of go close together. I have, um, is there a stamp you want to leave um, just on the blind community? And this is similar to my previous question. Is that just, I want to show other blind people as well that you can be successful in whatever you choose to do as long as you're willing to put in the work for it. And then number 11, my last question says, do you have any parting thoughts? And my parting thoughts to you would be, um, just don't be afraid to go after what you want. Even if what you want seems a million miles away at the moment, like what I want to do to be a successful um, YouTuber currently seems a million miles away, but I know if I put into the um, work, I might not ever make money off of it, but I'll keep growing. Um, this community will keep growing. I'm so proud of how much we've grown in just this little um, bit of time, and I'm excited to see where this goes. So thanks for watching and I will see y'all next time. Bye. Low power mode. Close button. Low power mode button. Stop recording. Take picture. Stop recording video.